I am ready for Rem. I've been waiting for this one. Anybody who knows me knows I've been hyped. And I got her for cheap. 50 tickets. Sador burst along the way. But wait, real quick. What's that? A whale call? That's right. For those who are unaware, if you put force on these things with whales LD, they will get launched every single turn you take. So they just get thrown around like rag dolls for the whole fight. So they don't stand a chance. And in fact, it was kind of a blessing and a curse because they died so fast, which was great, but you didn't really get to see a whole lot of what Rem can do. But I think that we get to see enough here. I really like her updates. My biggest problem with her for the longest time is that her skills didn't do damage, but she kind of got the Porum treatment where she gets an LD that has a follow-up attack that triggers whenever Rem does anything. If you ask me, and maybe this is an unpopular opinion, but I don't care. I think that Rem, for the longest time, has been the most undervalued, underappreciated support in this entire game. Because she's not exactly pick up and play. She's a lot easier to use now with her upgrades. But back then, you really had to think about what you were doing. But if you mastered Rem and knew how she worked, the amount of control you had in your team comp was crazy. And I love that about her. On to the fight mechanics, though. Once you get any of these guys down to 79%, I think we did it to the Warrior of Light Mankin. This Rem Mankin will get an orb that's only up for five turns. You can increase it, though. How? Turn manipulation. Of course, they're selling Rem. That's skill two. It just ups the orb, no problem. Layla does it, too, by the way. You let them attack, which they're going to attack at some point with the thresholds. They'll swing, they'll miss. Layla deals with the orb. All is right with the world. I opted for the Warrior of Light call to tank their attacks, and it worked out just fine. Because I believe it's 50. Yeah, see, there's the Rem Orb. Once they get down to 50, they'll all do it right in a row. And at that point, we can just go into the summon and kill them. And luckily, with all this launching, this summon is going to be up in no time. Now, this Warrior of Light mannequin will inflict target lock on your team, but it doesn't really seem to be much of a problem. Not with this setup anyways, because, like I said, everybody's just flying around and dying anyways. So really, all he's doing when he does that is setting himself up to die very quickly. And then the target lock goes away, and we're good. So Rem is up. We might as well just get this up because I know they're going to get to 50 pretty soon. I don't know if we're going to have another opportunity to set that up. So let's just set it up now. I panicked here a little bit just looking at this orb. Because I wanted to just go right into the Rem LD. I really did. But I figured better safe than sorry with this up the orb real quick. But realistically, there's a good chance I could have just launched him and we would have been fine because it would have built the summon. You know what? Probably not. Because then Garnet... Yeah, probably not, actually. Because it's not like Garnet can launch with her burst attack. So, yeah, the orb would have went off. Sure, we would have been okay, though. I don't think it's lethal. But why deal with it if we don't have to? This is probably overkill. A Kai's call on top of all this. But why the hell not? And look at that. We are, um... We're all set. But, I want them to swing at us first. So let's just chip away at them a little bit more. Back to you. Perfect. So we target him. Since she has warp step on, she'll jump back in front in that turn order. And then we'll be all ready to go. Launches with everybody in the order. All good. Look at that. All of them all at once are under 50. So watch this. Nothing. You missed? So the only one who doesn't have target lock on right now is Noctis. And that's only because he missed. Otherwise it would be there. Which means Noctis is free to hit whoever he wants. Let's do this. You have a shield? No. No. We're getting rid of that right now. Goodbye. Beautiful. Like I said, every turn they're getting launched. Doing almost a million damage per turn. Yeah, this one goes down pretty quickly. 
You know who would be fun to bring here now that I'm looking at this? Is Strago. Ooh, that would be fun. Yeah, with all his AoE. You know, mm. Yeah, I'm curious about that. Like Strago Birdman combo kind of thing. Or even just Strago Rem. Oh, yeah, I didn't mention this. When Rem swaps turns with somebody, she ups their EX recast gauge by 20%. And with how strong a lot of these EX attacks you're getting with Crystal 90, that could be very abusive with Rem by your side. That's why I'm thinking like a Strago Rem, that'd be kind of fun. I just, I'm curious about a setup that's gonna just refill that Strago EX as fast as possible and just unload it on three targets. That is just sinful, that is just sinful. But so is what we're doing here. It, it really is. Yeah, they're dead. They are very dead. I don't think that they're going to survive outside of the summon. I think, uh... Yeah, that's that. This should kill Warrior of Lights. Kaboom! Oh yeah, you dead. You dead! Okay, no more target lock. Ooh. And Rem can do the honors. We can finally pop another... Yeah, we can pop a Rem LD. Beautiful. And that is that. Pretty straightforward. Didn't get to see much of Rem because they die too fast, but it's what it is. Who'd you guys run though? I'm curious. Thank you for watching.